Welcome to this Stateless Codecast. This is a retrospective time. Retrospective for our second release of statelesscode.com. So this is work that was done back in November 2021, um, October, November 2021. It is now May 2022. So it's been a while since I recorded the last video. It took me a while to uh, produce and get the videos up on um, the various places where it's posted. So um, that's what we've got here. So this is the current state of statelesscode.com. It made some, some strides since the first release, but it's still um, um, not where I want it to be, but it was a, uh, an iterative improvement, and that's what we're, we're looking for here. So uh, we'll take a look at our, um, I guess we'll just get right into the um, the retrospective board. Um, so since this is within a couple days of it being the 45th anniversary of the, the, um, the first Star Wars movie coming out, that's our, our theme for the retro board. So that's what we've got. So we'll start with, with what went well. So um, got some more experience with, with Tailwind. We um, actually, let me, yeah, so, um, so that was good. I, I think I'm going to continue using Tailwind and including some of my upcoming Ruby projects and stuff like that. I, I like the framework. Um, and then, uh, along the way, learned a lot, um, kind of how WordPress widgets work and trying to deal with those and incorporate them with th the theme and then uh, the overall site improved over where it was on release one so that's what went well now we'll move over to things to improve so uh, as noted there was a long delay between recording and publishing videos the uh, post-production in particular was just a chore I um, getting the video descriptions done and all that. Um, I just didn't put a lot into it and it wound up dragging out and taking six months to get everything released. So, um, and another note is um, working against the, um, the framework in Tailwind. So um, I think I used the directives prematurely. Uh, that makes it harder to iterate on things, especially when you're dealing with compiling those directives. So like if you're in Tailwind Play or just using Tailwind normally, you can make those changes very quickly, see the results, and then um, iterate on them again. Whereas if you're doing um, the directives, at least with how um, Sage deals with that, then it, it, it doesn't, you're, you're looking at 10 to 15 second delay to see uh, every time you make a change. So uh, it's not ideal. And I think in the future, I would put more stuff in the classes in the HTML itself. And then uh, only kind of once I've got things stable and where I want them, would I move them potentially to directives. Um, although there, there are on the bottom here, gutches as it relates to how WordPress structures the DOM um, and you can see over here on pages on the side here, the, the text is, from what I can tell, inexplicably yellow there and not yellow anywhere else. So I'll put a, um, an action item on the project backlog here. Pause and write it out. So we've got that. Fix yellow text on pages widget in the sidebar. And then, so, and then just noting, you can see from looking at it, the site still doesn't look great. So it's, uh, I think I, the iteration was an improvement, but it's still not where I want it to be. If I click down in one of these, I'm, I'm not a fan of the, the, the yellow and the, the colors here, but, um, It's an iteration. We'll fix it 
as time goes by, time and effort permitting. So uh, that concludes things that didn't go well. We'll now take a look at our action items. No, do or do not. There is no try. So uh, just because of the intervening time here, so stage, we, we had been working off of the, the master branch of Sage. Um, so if I go to Sage here, you can see that um, version 10.0 was released about three months ago. Uh, and the current version is 10.1.6. So I'm gonna put a, um, another action item here to um, upgrade to um, a, an officially released version of Sage. So I've got that action item into our backlog. And then just noting here, it's better to release a video without as much detail in the description and uh, than to delay it and procrastinate and all that. So I can always go back and edit descriptions later if I want to. So um, just just like anything else, you can um, try to put forth a minimum viable product and then um, kind of see what type of reach you're getting and whether it justifies the additional effort to, um, to improve it. So that concludes that. We'll take a look at our, um, our overall action item board here and move the um, two new items we've got to it. I'll pause and add those two and then we'll take a look at that. Actually, I'll scroll so that we can see the, I forgot that I'm on video in the corner here. So um, that that's that last item that I was just talking about better to release without a detailed description. Um, and um, we'll now, Go to the main board. All right, so we're on our combined action items board. We've got our two new items. Um, reduce the series to do a real application with Braille 7. That'll be the next thing that I work on. Haven't really done anything on this. We'll call Exploring more with Tailwind in progress. I've not done the article about why I chose stage over underscore S. Um, the posting of already published videos is in progress. I'm not caught up. Uh, let's see. I used that a bit more this time. The, yarn start versus yarn build every time. And then learning more about plugins and widgets is in progress. Other dice in Inkscape is not yet done. Uh, I think I'm gonna move this up in the... All right, I think we're gonna just close Needless mouse movement and ums and uhs. I'm not the best at it yet, but we'll move it over. And then extra certain to pause and unpause status in OBS. I'm still making a few mistakes here and there, uh, but I think we'll also move this one to done so that we've got a more manageable list of action items here. And then we'll also call opportunities to split videos done. So that is where things are for this retro. We'll, uh, we'll end there. Uh, if you are a glutton for punishment, you can stick around for mediocre karaoke. I'll be doing Don't Stop Believing by Journey. 
Um, and then otherwise, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching this Stateless Codecast. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and spread the word. You can follow us on social media at Stateless Code. Until next time, keep coding, and don't aggress against peaceful people or vote for others to do so on your behalf. So the title of this track is Don't Stop Believing." I think after you hear my rendition of it, you might want to change your mind. This is a 1981 song by Journey from their album Escape. Escape sounds like a pretty good idea right now. This is your last chance. Oh well, too bad. Here goes. Don't Stop Believing by Journey.
I told you you should have escaped. Can't unsee or unhear that. Welcome to the Stateless Codecast. This is episode. What episode is this? This is going to be episode 26. I'll take this one over. So the title of this track is Don't Stop Believing. And now I'm. I bet no offset. Why? 